Hey everyone, it's Cece with One Green Pea. Today, we're gonna have a pot talk. Now, not a potty talk, and we're not talking about pot, we're talking about plant pots. In part one, I'll show you all the different kinds of pots that you might choose for your plants. And in part two, we're getting out the power tools, and I'm gonna show you how to create drainage in a pot that doesn't have it already. Most of the pots that you purchase for your plants will have built-in drainage. This pot that I just um, ordered from Amazon has a rubber plug in the bottom. So you can remove that to allow for drainage or you can leave it in if you want that situation. And we'll talk about that um, shortly. Now, pots that have drainage either typically have a built-in saucer like this one or a removable saucer like this one. Now my preference is a removable saucer because I always worry somewhat about overflow and the overflow doesn't always happen right away after you've watered. Sometimes the water continues to seep down and then you come back an hour later and you've got water all over your shelf. So my preference is a removable saucer so that I can, um, it generally has a little bit more capacity and I can also take it out and water right in the sink if that is my preference. Now, some pots have drainage. This guy has a hole in the bottom, but um, didn't come with a saucer. So I just picked up this um, cute little wooden bowl at a secondhand store, place it right inside and my surfaces are protected. Another um, uh, option is like a wooden, planter box. Now this box doesn't have holes drilled in the bottom, but water is able to seep out through the seams of the wood. So the way that I water the plants in this um, wooden box is I just place this right in my sink and I water it thoroughly and allow the water to drain out. And then um, when it's thoroughly drained and dry, I put it back on the shelf. So we know that proper drainage is absolutely crucial for our plants, but sometimes the pots that you have been given or chosen just simply don't allow for that. That's okay. So if you've found a pot that you absolutely adore and it doesn't have drainage, or perhaps you purchase a plant in a pot without drainage, there are solutions and there are ways to work with what we have. Okay. So the very easiest thing um, that we will talk about first would be a situation like this um, geranium is in. I have placed it in this pot, no drainage in the bottom pot, because I'm, I've planted it in LECA. I've talked about that in some of my other videos. It's a soilless substrate, and I want to um, have this pot below that has no drainage because I want water in it, and then this pot sits inside of it. So I'm gonna do a more extensive um, video on that if you're interested, stay tuned. Other times that you may want to have a pot with no drainage, for instance, this sweet little um, strawberry begonia that I purchased in a tiny little grow pot, I have just placed it in this larger, um, ceramic pot with no drainage because it looks cute in there, but also because it's so tightly packed, it's easier to bottom water this plant. And so I just, about once a week or so, when he's dry, I put water inside the bottom of the ceramic pot, place this guy inside, he soaks up as much water as he wants, and then I dump out the rest. I am gonna up pot this guy though. He needs um, a larger pot. You can see he's pretty stuffed inside of his little grow pot. So other times you just find a cute little pot that you want to use and it doesn't have drainage. So um, succulents tend to be the most um, successful in that type of a setup because you're not watering them very often. And so you don't have to worry too much about water um, sitting at the bottom of the pot. This little thing I've had going for over a year with just little teeny plugs of succulents. There's no drainage in the bottom. I just water it 
when the soil is completely dried out and I've never had a problem. Other times you find a cute piece of pottery that you want to use, an ear plant would be a perfect uh, plant for that because it doesn't eat soil. And um, to water it, you just dunk it in the, um, the sink. So that is another setup for that. Sometimes when you purchase a plant, it comes in a grow pot inside of another pot. Um, this pot does not have drainage. This is my... Um, one of my newest plants, my Anthurium, and he is in desperate need of up potting, but sometimes they're not, and they come in this situation, and it's totally fine. You can leave um, the plant in the grow pot. It makes it easier to water. You take it out to water it, let it drain thoroughly, and then just place it right back inside. Um, a grow pot like this is also um, a great setup for uh, bottom watering. So you can just place the water, pour water into the bottom of your pot or your sink or a bowl, let it sit inside, absorb as much water as it wants, and, um, and then you're done. You drain the water out, put it back, and it looks lovely. So suppose you have a pot that you want to use for your plant, but it doesn't have drainage. I have a solution for you. We are going to drill drainage holes in the bottom of the pot. Now I've done this on a number of different ceramic pots and I've had far more success with a pot that is unglazed on the bottom. So if it's glazed like it is up here, it's much harder for the drill bit to get through and you have a far greater likelihood of cracking the pot. So if it is unglazed, it's gonna be a whole lot easier. Now. You have a couple of different options in terms of drill bits as well. They make um, drill bits that are specifically for um, ceramics and that works well. But I've also found success with diamond bit drill bits. And I've just ordered a set of these um, in a variety of different sh sizes. This one I think will work best on this pot. I'm actually going to put three different holes. Now you can use, I have one that's a larger hole, but more soil tends to um, come out of that. It's a little bit tougher to use as well. So I like the smaller one. So let's get started. Safety first, goggles on. Now I really recommend this only if you um, know how to use a drill. So with um, a diamond bit, drill bit, you want to make sure that the surface is wet. That keeps it cooler. So I'm gonna try not to make a big mess, but I likely will. There we go, one hole through. I'm gonna repeat that two more times around the bottom of the pot. And it does hop around just a little bit like you saw in the first one, but that's okay, eventually it catches. Let's see what we've got on the inside. Awesome. So some of the glazing came off on the inside, but that's no problem. You're not going to see it and the plant doesn't care. Thank you for watching my video today. I hope that it opened your eyes to all the pot possibilities. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any questions or comments. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please do join our little plant community. As always, my plant friends, keep growing.